Hi, I'm Carly, and tonight I'm going to show you some cool ways to use alcohol in your cooking. So I know that there's a lot of times you wake up in the morning and there's just a little bit of your bottle of wine or beer left over, uh, but there are a lot of cool ways to use it the next night in your cooking that adds a lot of flavor and doesn't make you have to throw it away or drink it or anything like that. So what the first thing that I'm making is some pasta with a white wine and olive oil sauce. Um, it's a really simple sauce, but it's a good way to use some um, of your wine in like a cool and interesting way. Put the pasta in. The water's already boiling. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, start cooking some butter. And at the same time, I'm going to start my second dish, which are beer braised vegetables and some sausages. So uh, I cut up some vegetables, I just got some of my favorite veggies that I really enjoy because uh, they do really well when they're sautéed together and you can get fresh sausages or you can get packaged sausages like this. You can notice that I'm using pretty bad alcohol, I'm using uh, some of Trader Joe's cheapest alcohol and that's really because like in my experience the quality of the alcohol while it may make it taste a little bit better isn't really that important. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some more butter to uh, my other dish. And I'm actually going to add the garlic to my uh, pans at this point. I like it when garlic is able to cook a long time. And now I'm just going to put in a good amount of wine. Most of it will evaporate off. Now I'm just going to add a couple of herbs, some pepper, and some basil leaves. This is almost ready to cook some vegetables, and so I'm going to start with some vegetables that take longer to cook, like the onions, and some mushrooms. Now I'm going to add uh, some beer. I'm just going to kind of add a little bit, probably add a little bit more as it goes on. I'm just going to add the rest of the veggies. I want them to like soak up that flavor. So I'm just going to drain the pasta. Alright, so what I'm going to do is just add the pasta back in the pot and mix the sauce in it. It's simple, it doesn't taste like a lot of wine anymore, but basically it just gives it more of a body with the olive oil and the butter, and it's just a really simple, especially with some fresh herbs if you have them, it's a really nice way to add something to your pasta when you don't have any pasta sauce. Okay, as you can see, the alcohol has, dissolved, or has evaporated quite a lot, and what I'm actually going to do is pour out as much of the vegetables as I can into that, and use the remaining batter to cook the rest of the onions and the sausages. So uh, everything's just about done. The sausages are just about done. The vegetables are a little bit done. They're a little bit soggier than I would have liked, but they still taste good. Um, they ended up getting a little burnt, um, but I ended up caramelizing them a little bit. So it, although it doesn't look good, I'm sure it'll taste good. Um, the sausages are pretty much done. And yeah, we're ready to eat. There you go. Um, everything had alcohol in it. Um, it uh, was pretty easy to make. It was pretty fun to make. I was able to drink with it, and I was able to use some alcohol that I may have not used otherwise. 